Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina, and of course I have a pretty huge Dollar Tree haul. I did a relatively short haul the other day because something happened to my video where it I probably just inadvertently thought I was recording and I had a whole conversation with myself. One of the items that I swatched before I must have started actually recording, I don't know what I did, but I just wanted to show you guys, if you did catch my last haul, on my hand, I put like arrows and tried to explain it. I was wearing, in the beginning of my video, this. I never wear lip gloss or neutral lips, almost ever. This is the most gorgeous. Its name is Angelic by Flower Beauty, number 05, and it actually really is angelic. I just want to swatch it again for you guys, for anyone that didn't really know what was happening in the video, because it was like just a chunk of my video, like possibly 40 minutes of video just wasn't there. So that is what it looks like. It's just a beautiful, holographic, really gorgeous color that's peachy and absolutely superb. I loved it. I loved it enough that I wore it in my video. And um, I've actually worn it a couple times since I did that video. Um, there were other items that I'm probably going to be rehauling because they were just not in my haul. So I don't know. Sometimes you guys, if you don't press on, you're not making a video, but let's get into it. And I'm going to share with you guys the items that did get cut out of that video plus more. So if you did catch that haul, I know a lot of people were like, this was a really short haul. And I realized what happened. Half of the items that I meant to haul were not in that haul. I hold them, but I wasn't recording. So let's just get into the video now, shall we? All right, get ready, guys, because it's going to be a long one. Uh, one of my first and favorite items that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, I have gone everywhere. Like, I've literally gone to every Dollar Tree lately, and I walk in just looking for these because this is an incredible find, you guys. What, <clears throat> what this is is kind of like an advent calendar for the countdown to the next Spider-Man movie. And it's coming out, I think, next week or something. Adults and children alike absolutely love Spider-Man. This is an awesome $1 item. It's $8.99 in Walmart. Uh, it says Movie Countdown Collection. And it see how each, each little box inside of this packaging are 14 little figures. So I actually really want to open it. I'm curious to see what it's like in here. So I'm going to open it and we're going to take a quick look at some, the size of the figures. I don't want to totally ruin it for a child, but if I open one, I hope that there's a figure inside of it. I can kind of close it up and make it work because they're actually not tons. Each case comes with seven of them. So I, you know, I have collected quite a few, but I would like to have hundreds of these at a dollar. I hope that we find an actual figure because I know there's 14. Oh my God, they are so cute. Little kids are going to love these. Do you guys see that? Tiny little Spider-Man figures and they're nestled in here. These are incredible. They're not huge, but little boys, they love these kind of little treasures. Oh yes, yes. This is, I can, when my son was little, he would have gone completely ballistic over this. Oh yeah, do you guys see the little spider in his chest? That is so cute. Oh, a villain. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, amazing. And on the internet, it actually shows what's in here. This is what you get on day one, box one, if you were to do it as an advent. Boys are going to love this, and girls, there are many Spider-Man fans that are women as well. Um, my husband was like, wow, that's an awesome gift to give a little boy for just $1. And speaking of just $1, here where I live in Long Island, so far the stores are still a dollar, but right in the next county over, Queens, they're $1.25 in Nassau County. So I don't know what that's about, but it makes things complicated. Sometimes I do make exchanges. Um, if I 
don't find enough of one item and then I see more of another item that I think would be a better gift. I like to do exchanges and exchanges are going to become really complicated because you always have to come up with your receipt. I don't know. It's hard because I submit my receipts into my files and then I would have to get them back. I'm, I'm having like anxiety at the whole thing. If they had just raised the prices across the board, I wouldn't be nearly as nervous as I am as the fact that some stores are still a dollar and some are a dollar and a quarter. But it is what it is, guys. Times, they are a changing. Anyway, I hope you guys find this if you're looking for it. This is a great little stocking stuffer or even a gift for a super duper Spider-Man lover. These little things are great. The next few items that I have to share with you guys, I've been hauling around probably for over a month. And the weird thing is that I did buy this last year. I, I must have given them away, but I don't remember having this adorable snowman. And I love snowmen. And how could I not have Santa? Um, I don't know. Maybe I gave them away, but I've decided that I'm going to put tiny little hinges on the back of these and put them in the opening of my fireplace. You know, you could just put them on the back, screw them in. It's soft MDF wood. It's really easy. Or I could probably even just E6000, the teeny tiny little hinges so that I can uh, kind of make them like this and put them in the front of my fireplace. I think I'm going to put Santa as front and center and put the snowman and the elf to the side of him and then put candles behind them in my fireplace in different heights. I think that's what I'm going to do with these. I definitely feel like they all belong together. I would never be able to choose. I don't know how I ended up with only the elf last year, but I don't even know where he is. So yep, I picked up all three of them and I, I really like them. They're, they're great for shelf sitting. They're great for your mantle tear trays, just about anything. They're nice and weighted. They are thick, but that's what I'm doing with them. I'm going to make them into like a cute little display kind of thing for the fireplace opening. And I think it'll be really cute for, for just a couple, a few dollars. A while ago, I shared that I found some multi-pack gold toe socks. I just have not hold some of them yet. This pack is labeled $16 originally, and I could believe it. They are super duper lovely quality. These are Stay Cool Extreme Moisture. You have this awesome striped pair, which I think is adorable. And um, I believe these are women's. And then you have this like heathered gray and then this cobalt blue. Super duper. Oh, no, it's just a cobalt blue heel and the sock itself is black. They're really nice. Um, they fit size 8 to 11. They do look, I'm going to assume that these are for me. They're men's, um, but I don't actually care because I fit the men's, but they actually look like they'll fit my foot. And at a dollar, I love socks like that. No show socks, I love. And then these are incredible looking. Silver Toe Gold Toe brand, Aqua Effects, Aqua Effects Moisture Control Natural Cotton. And these are like delicious. The cotton is like that super stretchy kind of cotton that even if they don't fit you, they'll fit you. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like they get stretchy and comfy. Yeah. And they're really like just delicious, like brown and this like heathered brown and this black pair. These are great, great gifts. Also originally $16. Um, I don't know what size these are. <laughs> this batch of socks is like, okay, sock size 10 to 13. Okay, so these are for men. I'm probably going to gift these. I can even wear these if I want. They're actually really stretchy. They would even fit on my legs. So maybe I'll keep, I, I bought three packs of these. They had a ton. So I might gift a couple and keep one pack for me. Um, I do have tons and tons of socks for the shelter. So some of these I'm going to use for gifts like to my personal friends and family. Um, then I found these. Look at how cute these are. I don't know. They just make me super happy. And they're a size large. And it says that it's the easy match, easy sizing. Makes matching up your kids' socks as easy as one, two, three. And these are a size large, size three to nine. So you get three packs of little boys or little girls' socks for $10. How darling are these socks? Great gifts. That's what I picked them up for, some little boys that I know, and I know that they will be appreciated. They're very nice quality socks. 
These are also another three pack of little boy socks or little girls, but I picked them up for some little boys. Look at how, I just love stripes. And then you get this like dark gray. It's actually very dark gray. And then this adorable, look at that Argyle print. Absolutely cute as a button on a little boy that'll be. I seriously cannot believe how lucky I am to get something like that to gift during the holiday season for just $1. It's unbelievable. So many of you guys have been writing how Gold Toe was like the greatest thing the Dollar Tree had this year, and I cannot agree with you more. The Sphinx razors and the Gold Toe socks are by far the best, best, best items. And I know I come across a lot of makeup, but I feel like that razor and, and these socks they are the best bang for your buck because they're super practical and it's just something you really need and I just think it's a wonderful gift. A few more packs of socks because they did send a lot of kid socks out so I'll share with you some more really cute patterns that I found. These are like pink rusted like russet pink I guess that's called. It's a beautiful pink and they're $14 originally sock size seven to eight and a half or the shoe size nine to one and a half for little girls you get three pairs of cotton socks for one buck unbeatable deal they're gonna love them my nieces and for just a dollar for these I can't I, you can't go wrong so I picked up a couple of those and I picked up a couple of these as well these are just reminding me of my childhood you get three different styles of these turn cuff socks that I just think are so, so precious. You get this eyelet lace embroidered one, which is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. I love it. And then you have a pair of just plain turn cuff socks, just, just plain bobby socks. And then this cute lace effect. Aren't these just adorable cotton socks? All cotton. And they also come in that easy peasy sizing. And I got them in medium. $10 for a three pack, $1 at the Dollar Tree. Unbeatable favorite find of the year, hands down. Then I found some weird brand name items that it's been a while since I shared these and they were also lost in the trunk. So I'm gonna share these with you guys now. I never hold them. These are um, scented onyx professional quality polishes with all kinds of different bling in them. First of all, I love the packaging, love it, and they're by the brand Onyx, and this one is, um, okay, so they're all different, I don't even know where to begin, okay, so they're by the brand name Onyx, which is sold in beauty supply stores, and what they have is, we're going to open them up, there's, okay, so there's this hot pink one, there's this, like, really pretty baby blue, then there is this perfectly perfect red and then we have this magenta now some of them on the bottom have like stones you guys see that that is cool because they also have two different types of glue at the Dollar Tree for just the buck so you can embellish your nails in various ways and I'll share that in a minute but um I just think that getting all of those rhinestones for the dollar plus whatever else is going on in here is a great deal. It says polish, um, decorate, and design, and it says blueberry scented. So this nail polish is blueberry scented. This nail polish is cherry scented. Bizarre, but it is. I don't know if it's healthy to be breathing in your nail polish fumes. Raspberry scented <laughs> and vanilla scented. Now, on the bottom, I don't know what some of them have though. That's the thing that's kind of weird. So this one, this raspberry scented one, looks like it has coarse glitter. And then this one looks like it has fine glitter. I like the one that has the bling, I think the best, but I don't know what this is. And this color, cherry scented, I don't know what that is. So let's open it up and see what's in here. I'm just curious. So this one is cherry scented. Let's see if it's really cherry scented. And these go for like, I think five or six dollars at the beauty supply store. So for a dollar, this is kind of exciting. This is where I'm gonna end up with sparkle all over me. Okay, so this is cool. Oh wow, 
here's the crazy thing. The sparkle polish that I'm wearing right now from Milani matches these sparkles exactly. They are like magenta and gold. You could just put those wherever you want probably. But so there are sparkles in here, if you guys can see that. And they match these perfectly. That's so funny. I'm not very good with loose sparkles like this. I find myself wearing them more than placing them where I want them. I don't know how people use them in like directions or, oh, and I like, I really like the color of this polish. Oh no, no, I'm going to die. There is, <coughs> that is toxic. There is no reason to smell your polish guys. That hit me in the back of my lungs. Whew. No nail polish. What kind of craziness is this that we're like sniffing polish? This cannot be legal, guys. I don't know about that. Do you guys like the idea of scented nail polish? I think they went too far, but I do see like, see how they are showing that you can like make it really perfectly. And I actually have noticed, um, Queen's Life does her nails like that. Like I don't, she, and she does them herself. So she, maybe she uses like this precision, this little, cause you can, I, I can't do it. I, I, it just seems too complicated. Cause you can like, oh, you can use a brush, I guess. Duh, Marina, you use a brush and you put the glue down and then you, but that's how I spill everything and end up wearing it. That's complicated for me, but I like just using glitter polish all over, slather it on wherever the sparkle goes, it goes. But I've seen her have her nails done where they're like, lined really nicely and she does a really great job with her nails and they're like they look like professionally done but I do really love this color and I do really love those sparkles so I'll give it a try we'll see what happens I'll probably be covered in sparkle and then this I can handle because these like sparkle actual little I'm gonna open this one too what but I'm not smelling it. I'm not smelling any more. You guys know that I'm probably going to pass out in the car today. Let me open the window before I smell it because this one's supposed to be blueberry scented. I love this color blue. No, none of these smell like anything. They smell like nail polish and they smell toxic. And that is nonsense. But look at how cool it is to get all of those stones. I just think that's so fun. Isn't that really fun? And then you could just put the glue down and I think I can handle that with a pair of tweezers. I already dropped three. That's okay. There's a lot. There's so many in there. You could always use these for something else. And that is so cute. I could see myself maybe, I don't know. It seems very delicate for me, but I have actually put things like that on my toe pedicure in the summertime. And it lasts really long, so I love getting those for just a dollar. Along with this, I think it's a great buy. This third shade is so gorgeous. It is like a bubblegum pink. I love that. It's like a almost neon pink. Really love it. And then it has these gorgeous, gorgeous sparkles. But here's the crazy thing that I didn't realize, because it says three in one, and. I'm such a dingling sometimes. I thought that the three in one was the scent aspect of it, which is not an aspect. It's, it's, these are not scented. Do not start sniffing your polish in your car. You will pass out. But, um, it's got this little thing. And when you push on it, it actually writes. Like if you squeeze, see, it's coming out. So you can draw. I don't want to drop it in my Wrangler, but you guys see that there's color at the tip of that. How cool is that? I didn't even know that that's what, probably I have other ones and I never realized it because these are actually by Sassy and Chic, which I thought they weren't because Onyx is a professional beauty supply company brand and Sassy and Chic is sold at Dollar Tree and I thought only at Dollar Tree, but maybe they sell them also at Dollar General, but um, evidently Sassy and Chic must be made by Onyx brands because they are in the Onyx Professionals packaging. Do you guys see that? Every single one of them is labeled Sassy and Chic, but they're not Sassy. They're not in Sassy and Chic packaging. I'm blown away by this because 
that's crazy. I had no idea. I thought that these were actually Onyx brand, but they're not. But I'm still happy with the colors. They are not scented. They are toxic. And the embellishments. I also picked up one of these because this is the brush on glue, which I really like. And I bought a couple of this because there's two packs in here. And when this gets empty, I could just pour this into here and use it with the brush because I really like the brush on glue type. I'm too sloppy and messy and accident prone to do fake nails with anything but the brush on nail glue. But yeah, I picked all of these. Oh, and there's one more color. I'm not going to open it because this is taking too long, but this is also that gorgeous red. So yeah, I think that these are a great buy, even if they are sassy and chic for a dollar. I think they're a good buy. They're fun. You could do a lot of designs during the holidays. The blue with silver will be beautiful. So I'm excited I picked those up. Then I did pick up this LA Colors Glow and it is, it says that it is color glaze glows in black light. That is so cool. I mean, I don't think I'm going clubbing anytime soon and plan on being in blacklight, but I just love that it is super neon. I love colors like that. Really, really love, love these in the summer. And yeah, I absolutely love it. That'll be really cool. Then I did pick up this Hello Fall. Do you guys see how beautiful that cup is? I love the reusable cups from the Dollar Tree. I really do. It's a great cup, just a dollar, and it is so pretty. It's double-sided, which is what makes me super the most happy when Dollar Tree prints on both the sides. I love those cups. I love orange, and this is the perfect thing to have in the fall. It's just perfect. Okay, guys, this year, I feel like the Dollar Tree is really, really outdoing themselves. These classic teddy bears in three different colored out jammies like they have their they have their christmas eve night jammies on and there's a gray little stuffy bear look how cute he is with his little sleeping cap it's so twas the night before christmas and all through the house not a little boy or girl we're stirring not even a mouse and not even their bear look at how cute that is like i know that these just want to be loved by a little boy or girl. Look at this cute little red jammies one with the dark, the like classic dark teddy bear fur and their cute little paws and, and feet. Like, I just think these are classic and at a dollar, you know, they're Christmas oriented, but super duper cute. Not a bad pickup, not a bad pickup. Even at a buck and a quarter, I'm happy to find these. So I got a case. I didn't pay a dollar and a quarter, but if I find them at a dollar and a quarter for the case, I would definitely still buy these. Little boys and girls are going to go crazy for these. I could just tell you that right now. But then these, these are even better. These are by far my absolute favorite, favorite stuffies the Dollar Tree has ever made. And I have bought my fair share of stuffies, but these are just pudgy wudgy. Look at this shape. They have like a really cute, like, just funny like chubby wubby happy shape and look at their bellies they're like contrasting colors and it comes with the classic teddy bear ears that everything is stitched on so babies can put this with a baby and you're not scared the baby's gonna when you're not looking bite the nose off and choke this is a really important and good value um they have these really cute ears. They're wide whale corduroy. Like these are retro. I literally feel like these are stuffies from the 70s because the wide whale corduroy fabric velour got me. It so got me. Look at how cute they are. Aren't those amazing for a buck? Even at a buck and a quarter, if I find these again in the future, I'm going to want to buy these. They're definitely a great deal for that price. And this one is a, is a puppy, like a classic puppy stuffy and a classic bear stuffy. I know little boys and girls are going to be dying to take these new stuffies home and, you know, sleep with them and they're soft and just really cuddly and they're overstuffed. Like sometimes the Dollar Tree plushies, they're not super stuffed. I have to admit, these are absolutely by far adorable, but they're not as stuffed as these. These are really 
a cut above the rest, guys. If you're looking for a couple of stuffies for some grandkids or, you know, gift giving or stocking stuffers, see if you can find these. As soon as you grab their bellies, you're going to be like, yes, 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 I want these. These are amazing. So I got a case of these as well, and I was so happy to get it. Really, I know they're going to be so loved by children. So in the new wall art, I did pick up these canvases. They are like peonies, floral peonies. Um, now the sawtooth is at the top there. So I guess they're supposed to go either that way or that way. It's your choice. Um, I do think they're really, really gorgeous. And I'm sure that if somebody picks these, they will love decorating their little space. Sometimes I like to just, when I see pairs like this, I just hand them in to the shelter because sometimes women are getting a new place and they'll take these and decorate their little space with them before um, in-person donations were not banned. I used to have storage units where I used to always buy cases of these wall art and the women could go through them because for a couple of dollars, you can decorate and beautify your little space with just a couple of dollars. But these are so pretty and neutral that I couldn't pass them up. They could go in a bathroom and a living room and a hallway, so many places, a bedroom. So yeah, I had to take these and I absolutely love these. I'm going to give these to a friend of mine who actually wants them. And they are so beautiful. These cherry blossom branches are literally gorgeous. Are those not gorgeous, guys? It's just really so pretty. You could just decorate any space. You know what? If you don't like how they look, see, I probably would want them to be that way. You don't have to hang them from that little tooth. You can hang them in any direction that you want. You can even hang them like that. Because sometimes I just have to do things weird. So I might even hang them like that in that orientation. Um, I just think that they're gorgeous. I really do. Really am loving this year's wall art that they came out with. So many beautiful canvases. So little time and so little wall space. That's how I feel about that. But yeah, couldn't leave these behind. And my friend mentioned that she wanted them. So I got them for her. Every season of every year, Dollar Tree comes out with solar lights. And you guys are probably like, Marina, what are you doing with all of these solar lights? But you know what? You can't help but buy them, guys. They're so practical, so awesome. Uh, to be honest, the ones that I bought last year are still working. I don't. I actually don't put them away. I hide them. Once it's out of season, I tuck them like inside of the trees or somewhere where no one can see them, but they still light my path or a little bit shine a little light because out here where I live, they don't have street lights and at night it's dark. So I never actually throw them away. They just eventually disintegrate from the elements. Living by the water definitely has its challenges and the elements break everything down really quickly. But I have to say that last year, I was not lucky enough to get this tree. I don't know if they even had this susical, fantastic looking tree, but I just love the tree. And I bought six of just the tree to line my pathway because um, I've never seen the tree before. I must have missed it last year, but I did have all the other ones. And I'm ready to throw them out now because they do look like who did it and ran. I'm going to put these in my pots, the like snowman and the elf. So, so cute. And the reindeer and the Santa. Absolutely adorable. And you could put these in a wreath and then your wreath will light up in your doorway. I've seen people do that and that's cool too. Um, but the trees, they're special. I love the trees. I, I should have bought, I wish I had bought a dozen of just the trees just to line my walkway. I can imagine them like when it's snowing and you just see a whole pathway of little, of little Seussical looking trees. Don't these remind you of like Dr. Seuss, the way that they look like? I absolutely love, love solar lights. I think that they're a great pickup to buy at the Dollar Tree. Solar lights everywhere else are at least $2 and up. 
a novelty fun like fun solar lights if you go online they're never a couple they're not even a couple dollars they're like crazy prices like 13 and 14 dollars why when you could do the same thing with these for a dollar i would never spend that kind of money on something that no matter what i do is going to fall apart in my yard so i love solar lights that is why i never ever pass up on solar lights they're my favorites I don't have to think about it. I don't have to turn them on. I just love solar lights. Then I also had to pick up the giant solar light bulbs. These are gorgeous. I love them. I bought eight, two of each color. When you're picking them up, if you feel like they don't work, check them on the inside. What I do, because sometimes these are a little funny and they don't work. Put it on on and shine it up to the light in the store and then check it if, as see it's coming on can you guys see that so that is what i do and then some of them don't work like a lot of the time strangely enough they don't work so i check each and every one of these that's what you have to do there's an on and off button so there it is you guys see the on and off button so yeah there is that and once they start to get charged and they do once you find working ones they always work i even think that i might have a couple left from last year that didn't blow away but this year i'm not going to pass them through my garland what i'm going to do is first i'm going to put my garland my dollar tree what was it 15 yards for just a buck garland it's green evergreen garland i'm going to string it through my fence and then i'm going to take those wired garland pieces they're like 12 in a pack I thought that I had them in this haul but I don't and I'm gonna hang these up separate through the through the garland so that they get more sunlight because if you string the garland right through here and string it up to the fence they don't get enough sunlight and they don't always light up so if you use those pipe cleaner looking evergreen things that I can't think of what the Dollar Tree is calling but you guys know what I'm talking about every DIYer uses them they're just a piece of like pipe cleaner that has like evergreen on it 12 for a buck great deal at the Dollar Tree I use them for everything you can actually even attach the garland to your fence with that if you pull it up all the way and give it a little spin it doesn't encompass this solar light thing because this is where the solarness needs to go in it needs to not block this it that way it doesn't if you do it like that and give it a twist the evergreen moves away from here and it doesn't block this so it does collect enough sunlight in the daytime to shine all night because who wants to go to all the trouble of putting these up and then have them never light up that that sucks so I discovered that late in the year last year but then I did make the adjustment and they worked wonderful so that's a little secret of mine um but yeah I love how that looked and I think it's just a great little I mean for eight probably like ten dollars i'm gonna do the whole front of my fence area so that's gonna be really cute for ten bucks and garland not for nothing that i picked up for a dollar it's really expensive even in dollar general it's more than a dollar it's a couple dollars and it's the same garland okay so here is some more christmas stuff and full disclosure this has already been opened you guys these dots by tootsie Tootsie Roll Cherry Lime and Vanilla Flavor Dots. They are so soft. Have you ever gotten a pack of dots that was not soft? They're lime, lime and vanilla in one, or cherry and vanilla in one. And look at how squishy and soft. I don't know what it is about these dots. They're the yummiest candy ever, literally ever those are the only colors just like the package shows red and white or green and white you really taste the vanilla they're so soft and delicious i've had bad dots and i feel like the christmas ones are made so fresh that they are beyond yummy i guess the, all the dots that i've had lately it happens to be like one of my i love sour candy and gummy candy i really do it's a bad vice but these are fresh because they're made for Christmas. They're so good, guys. If you love squishy, ooey, gooey, gummy drop kind of candy, get these. Definitely buy these for your gingerbread house 
decor because how adorable are these gonna be laden all over your gingerbread house roof, doorsteps, whatever. They're so cute. Absolutely yummy and delicious candy and pretty all in one. I am still on Snugadoo suspension, but I did tell you guys that I had tons and tons of Snugadoos in the car. I wasn't kidding. I absolutely love these Snugadoo socks. I don't know, I just, just the way they feel, they're like boucle. I love, I don't know, I've never worn boucle socks uh, all day. I'm assuming that this would probably start to really hurt. Um, but I like to wear my Snugadoos at night. I moisturize and, you know, do like a whole nighttime beauty regimen to my Tootsies. And then I like to put socks on and let the socks steep all the lotion and stuff I put on my feet. And then I take them off because then I overheat. I'm very complicated when it comes to like my foot temperature at night. I want them out of the blanket, but I do like to moisturize my feet every night. And I absolutely love this boucle, how it feels on, it's like boucle knit, um, chenille but in a sock and look at this color pattern like oh my god I would love a sweater made of this print I just it is teal purple and hot pink like god if they made scarves gloves sweaters in this I would buy it in any store for any price I am loving this color combo and then this color combo is so adorable as well really gorgeous and then of course I bought these as gifts I'm gonna give these to some purple loving friends and this is a classic black white and gray but I just could not leave them behind and I think I bought multiple of actually every color pattern because I'm gonna gift them in gift bags because snugadoo socks are like a spa treatment I don't think think that these are probably comfortable to wear like with your shoes all day I don't I, I don't even I don't I've never tried to let me know if you guys have ever worn these I, f I feel like they're massaging actually to me it feels like massaging the way that these little ballies feel but I don't know if they might be discomfortable to some you know I feel like they might cause discomfort to people who are super sensitive if they wear them with their shoes all day but you put moisturizer on your feet Oh, the other thing is, all of my Snugadoo socks, I usually flip them inside out because I don't like the stitching on the inside of the sock. Uh, drives me crazy when I have it touching my feet. So I always flip them inside out. So this boucle-ness is like a massage bead on my feet with the moisturizer. Oh, it is the greatest experience, in my opinion. So yes, I love these boucle Snugadoos. They're like at the top of my list of snugadoos. I picked up a couple of these to hold on to my receipts for my charity. It's a good way to keep things separate and organized. And inside of this little plastic file, I thought I had lost it. It's actually, you might not even notice it, but these are actually little stickers that you peel off and you can label each section. And it comes with it inside. And I just think that that's really great because it really does, like you could put like grocery store, Dollar Tree, I don't really go anywhere else, but you know, whatever, you can separate it or you can make it for your coupons or whatever you choose. But I just think that's amazing for a buck. It's super cute. I just think that that's really useful and I was really happy to find it. It was definitely on my hunt list and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. So happy I found this. I picked up a case of these magnetic drawing board. They're kind of like an Etch-a-Sketch, but the dollar store version. But these are way bigger than I have ever, ever seen them at the Dollar Tree. You guys know that usually they're like this big. They're about, yeah, they're like literally usually that big. So the kids get a lot more space and they get these two little pieces that they can use as stencils. I would just be careful that they don't try to put this on their wrist and then get stuck in it. But I think that's great for a buck. R really cool little stocking stuffer. Kids always get a kick out of these. So of course the little magnetic pencil is attached to this permanently, 
which is another great little thing that they did. So, and then, you know, you guys know how to use it, but it's just bigger and easier to use. And I think that they actually gave us more for our money, which is a pleasure. It's nice when you get more than less for your money. I was able to find these and I didn't even know they existed by Pet Zone. Pet Zone Go Bananas, 100% catnip filled cat toy. I just want you guys to know that this toy right here, my cat literally plays with and she plays with nothing. She is a huntress. She always wants to go out and hunt. Lord knows what. She brings lots of proof back home to show to us that she's been hunting, but she actually got herself high as a kite on this catnip. She was passed out on the floor and she doesn't usually take interest even in catnip, but she really loved this go banana bananas. So I think that's a great stocking stuffer for anyone's pet stocking. She really loved it, literally loved it. And then these are also catnip filled and they're so adorable, you guys. Do you guys see that? Okay, so then we first we have this little burlap one that has like a feather tail and little jute green ears. You guys see how cute that is? And it has a little pull tab. And when you pull the pull tab out, it makes little noise, like lifelike noise. It makes lifelike mouse sounds literally they make lifelike mouse sounds how cool is that and it is a tethered teaser also by pet zone look at this one this one has like a faux suede little tail cute little ears also makes the sound effect but the feathers on this one are coming out of the top of this so you can mess with the cat like that or like this is like a two-way two different ways to mess with the cat you can mess with her with the feathers or him and then also play with the mouse as you dangle it on the string. This one, the feathers are on the back of the mouse's tail, so more than likely the cat's gonna mess that up real quick, but either way, for a buck, these are both really cute stocking stuffers for kitties, and the fact that they do the sound effect is awesome because that's a great buy for a dollar. I did pick up this Gillette Fusion two and a half ounce uh, it's ultra sensitive hydro gel. It just looks interesting and I feel like it will make a nice addition to a stocking stuffer. So I picked up a few cans of this. I mean, it's small, but it's nice and will look good in a gift bag. I just sprayed it into the cap. Although it is ultra sensitive, it has an awesome fragrance. I was wondering about that. I wanted to know if it had a fragrance. It has a really clean like a like zest zestfully clean kind of scent and it definitely is moisturizing as well as it's definitely hydrating i definitely think it's going to be a nice little addition to a gift basket for a man or even a woman i mean i could use this to shave my legs it's a great deal i did pick up multiple sets of these texting gloves and these work because the army green color heathered one my son has been using and they work perfectly fine. The other day we got in the car and it was so cold, we didn't skip a beat. We just grabbed some of these gloves from the back seat and put them on. Um, the weird thing about them is that although they don't have any sizes, they all say women's, but here's the weird thing. They're all different sizes because look at the difference. I line them up at the top. Look at the difference in sizing between the blue and the black. So even though they don't say they're different sizes, you have to just kind of look at all of them and figure out which ones are going to fit your hands. Because literally some of them are little. See, there's no sizing. I hate when Dollar Tree does this. It just says women's. It doesn't have any sizing details at all. But I'll tell you right now, it seems to me like the black ones are the smallest, the blue ones are the medium ones, and the army green ones are the biggest ones which my son took because he has obviously bigger hands he's a you know he's a boy he has bigger hands but uh which is not always the case but he has bigger hands than I do and like the blue medium ones fit me perfectly but yet the black ones that don't say the same you know they 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 really don't they're they're way shorter you guys see the difference like it's way like this goes to where my 
jacket would cover it so I wouldn't catch a breeze. And this barely makes it to my wrist. So they're definitely bigger. Very weird. And I'm really pulling them to the limit to do that. So even though they're all supposed to be the same size, they are not. I bought one of each of these um, because my friend Kathy, she has really thick, thick curly hair and she loves these kind of products. They're called Via Natural Ultra Care. Vitamin E oil promotes longer, stronger, healthier hair, adds vitamins and keratin to hair, contains natural oils, moisturizing oil for hair, scalp, and body. I did pick up some um, shower caps so she could do these and like let it all percolate on her head, but they're not here. But I picked them up for her to add to her Christmas gifts. The thing is, I'm not saying that these are 100% vitamin E oil or anything like that. It's mostly mineral oil. So if you have a, like my fairy treasures, she is sensitive to mineral oil. Don't even try these. Hello, Angie. I was listening to you this morning and I was like, oh my God, everything from the Dollar Tree that's moisturizing has so much mineral oil in it and she can't use it. Um, but they also have a lot of other oils that people do have sensitivities to like canola oil and things I can't even pronounce, but my friend Kathy does like these and they do make her hair look and smell. These smell amazing. Her hair is so coarse that she could take it without even rinsing it out and pull it through her hair and it makes her hair look really beautiful. So, you know, for a buck, if it works, use it. Um, I can, if I were to put this in my hair, my hair would look like it was filthy. Even after I wash it, I would have to rewash it. But every once in a while, it is good to do like a hot oil treatment to your hair. Um, so you just take a shower cap and percolate one of these oils on your head and let it sit for a long time and then shampoo it out. And it does moisturize your hair. And these do smell really good, like I said. They also have the shea butter oil which is very cool as well. And I'm wondering if they all have the same fragrance. Let me take a whiff because these are the things. Oh no, they're all different, but they so far too smell really good. I'm going to smell the argon and it says Moroccan argan oil. There's probably like a teensy weensy little drop in this whole thing, but it is what it is. That's what you're getting. Ooh, that one smells like cocoa butter. They all have a different smell. They're all very light and very pleasant, really nice. Um, she's definitely gonna love and appreciate these. And you could maybe add a little bit to your conditioner. You could use these not only in your hair, but you could use these for hair, scalp, and body. So you could put them on your legs, put them on any dry spots, try them in your moisturizer. You could kick your moisturizer up a notch by adding some of these to it if you don't have any sensitivities to any of the ingredients in there. And you have to really bust out a magnifying glass to read all the different types of stuff that's in there. But like I said, Kathy likes those, so I picked them up for my friend Kathy. You guys already know that I live for buying scarves at the Dollar Tree. When I can get a scarf for a buck that I can zhuzh up an outfit with, I certainly do. And I could not leave these behind. During the holiday season, I am sure that these are going to take a plain outfit to a whole new level. I love that they have this, they have gold glitter in them. Do you guys see that gold glitter in this Buffalo check red scarf? Super duper cute for just a buck. I mean, I don't live for Buffalo check, but it's cute and festive. And then they have this candy cane effect one, which is really cute for this or even Valentine's Day. I could see using this around Valentine's as well. I think it's really cute for that. And my favorite is hands down is this one. I am in love with this print. I think it's really, really nice. It is actually gorgeous. The tree pattern in it, I'm opening it up so you guys can really see how beautiful this is. Isn't that like so pretty? I could even see like, I don't know, DIYing with these. I could just see people doing so many cute things with them. They're really Look at that tree. It's gorgeous. Look at it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You can buy these scarves and decoupage this fabric onto, oh my God, I'm doing that. That is so easy peasy. I would hate to cut the scarf up, but I'm going to have to get a few more of these for DIYs. 
because legit, I love the type of trees that they have. And you can make so many candle, like you cut this piece of fabric and just decoupage it onto one of those tall pillar candles. Wow, I'm gonna love that. That is a really easy, that's a Marina DIY right there, guys. Done Marina DIY. Just like a plain cardigan or a plain t-shirt or a plain long sleeve tee and put this on and you are totally festive on a budget. This is literally shocking to me how cute this print is. This is a definite new print. I've never seen it before at the Dollar Tree and I, it's my favorite, my favorite of the season. Hands down, my very favorite print. I wish they put this print on other things. I would have bought everything that had this print on it. I love love these trees. I absolutely love the little star at the top. Every single one of the trees is super cute, really foresty. Loving it. Check out. Can you guys check this concealer palette out? This concealer palette is here for everyone. It is just incredible to me. It's a BYS cream palette and it comes in BYS True Form where it is double and triple security packaged. So once you take it out of one level of packaging, you can see it a little better and it's really pretty. Then let's tear open into this, which is very satisfying. I love when it has the little dotted lines and you just, oh my God, I love that. It's like my favorite feeling when I'm ripping into $1 makeup finds. Really seriously love that feeling. And then what do we have going on here? It's sealed again in the corner. Okay, <laughs> triple secure. Then it says 18 grams. It's developed in Australia, made in China. And then it has another security measure. So we take that off. And now here we have the actual concealer palette. Now, of course you can use, like I probably would use this one to conceal. Yeah, that, I would use that one to conceal. It doesn't, it does not have any kind of a bad odor or anything like that, which I'm happy. It's cream concealer. I'm, I don't know why I have to do these things, but I do guys. I have to put these things on my face as soon as I open them and see how they feel. Actually, I really like how that looks and it already kind of made my eyes pop a little bit. Um, so I like the texture of it. It's not irritating my skin, but you know, sometimes depending on how much sun you get, it's nice to have a lot of choices in concealer. Also, you can use it for contour. So let's say I wanted to use that one. I could always just put a little contour right there and just blend it in and you know, if you're on the road or in a hurry and you don't want to stop and whatever, you just add it in there and you get a little contour in your cheeks. So it is useful. You can blend and get the perfect shade, but at a buck, this is a great, great gift because you don't know what color concealer other people use. And frankly, I don't know what color concealer I use and I have my own face with me. I would have to go through these and pick. So I just think that if you find this, pick it up as a gift because it's a very thoughtful thing. You're not giving them something that they can't use. They can figure out what they can use. So I just think that's great for a dollar. Next on my list of flower beauty makeup, I found this, Red My Lips, long wear lip cream and it is packaged and it says color proof soft angled tip for precision okay so they've most of them cp3 is the color see that cp3 red my lips i only found a couple of these i love it on the inside of the package it says women deserve something beautiful love that love it and most of the other ones came with a doe foot but this one is like a, oh, it's like a little cotton kind of, do you guys see that? So it's like an angled, huh? We're going to figure that out now. I've never used anything like that. Wow. That's a really nice red. That is a really nice red. I'm actually wearing a sparkling spice lipstick today, but I think I'm going to try this lipstick on. That 
that is a really nice red, but you definitely have to line your lip with that. It says precise, long wear, color proof, long wear lip cream, but precise or not, if you don't wear lip liner, this is not, this is going to bleed a lot. It's already bleeding and I only had it on for like two seconds. Well, I definitely read my lips. That's the name of the color. And I love the color, but I, if I had lip liner in the car, I would have used the lip liner because it definitely is going to bleed. And I hate when that happens. And it is a cream lipstick. So it's not matte which inevitably will end up on my teeth. That is the reason now I remember why I do not like anything but matte lipstick. Cause I talk so much and I have such a big mouth. If I don't wear matte lipstick, I end up wearing it on my teeth. So I'm gonna red my teeth, not my lips. So let me make sure I didn't do that before I continue talking to you guys with red my teeth all over me. But I have to say that it doesn't have an odor. It's, it smells and tastes good. And I'm never disappointed with Flower Beauty. I have never been disappointed. I have read some of the comments where some people said that things didn't work well or that they had an odor. I didn't find that. And believe me, there have been items that I've bought from the Dollar Tree that I've said had mold or whatever, but I have not experienced that with any Flower Beauty makeup. My flower foundation did separate and I shook it, but when I put it on, it did not have any kind of weird odor. And I'm really weird about things like that. So I've been lucky, I guess. And it, it really depends on where the stuff is getting shipped to and what kind of temperatures it's been through. Who knows what causes things to get all gunky during travel. But I so far have been really fortunate. Only one time I bought a Broadway palette that smelled absolutely gross and I took every single one of them back because they were like horrible. But I I do feel like I've been really lucky and I'm really grateful about that. I bought every single one of these candles because I think that they are literally drop dead gorgeous. I actually almost don't even care if they don't have throw because I think that they're so pretty as basket stuffers. Just super anthropology looking. I even love how they look like that. They look super duper pretty. Now, they have a cork top for a buck. You cannot go wrong. Jasmine and mint. And in the store, they smelled amazing. Wow, I feel like they're gonna have great throw. They're really potent. When I open this cork lid, I'm definitely smelling heavy duty jasmine and mint. And look at the packaging and the really pretty, these are gorgeous super gorgeous. Then we have wildflowers and sage. Smells beautiful. And look at that mustard color label. That looks anthropology. It should say anthropology dupe, like period. It is a total anthropology dupe right there. Then we have grapefruit and gardenia. Love this one. Oh my gosh, yes. I love, 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 love it. I love how they look so much that I just don't even care about anything else. They are pretty, super pretty. And this one with the black label is outstanding. I love flowers on a black background. Just love it. Honey and pear. Yes, yum. Oh, it, they smell so good. And their little cute cork tops are just so cute. And who knows, maybe this cork top will fit something else. It's not that easy to find cork lids. So, you know, there is that. You could reuse these little canisters for other things in your home after these are done. You know I'm keeping each and every... I had to buy these jars just because they're cute canisters. You could do all kinds of fun, cute things with these in your bathroom or in your craft room or wherever. But look at how cute those are. I picked up just a couple of these. Um, someone said that they're bracelets. I don't think they are. They are an orb sensory stretchy pal and they're just a giant caterpillar. Um, I haven't seen them in other colors. I'm going to open it. Actually, I can't even open it. You guys, um, just so I can show you guys what they look like. Uh, so, you know, they're not a bracelet. They're just, they're really they definitely feel cool 
and they're, they do come in other colors, but I only found it in pink. And I know they're kind of like new, fun, uh, worry beads. Like I remember I'm Greek and I remember the elderly people in my family used to have worry beads and <laughs> this is similar to it. Um, I don't want to talk about what other kind of beads they're like, but I have no part of that either. These are in the kids department, Caterpillar, a little sensory. They're definitely fun to play with. They are really like addictive and they do. Oh, I don't like their smell though. They have a strong chemical odor. Actually, you can tell that the package itself has like a film, kind of like greasy inside. They definitely, oh yeah, they have like a residue, like a rubbery, I don't, I get, they, not like chemical, but definitely not my favorite. I hate it when things have chemical smells to them, so there is that to consider if you've been looking into these. Um, you guys see the package, what I mean. It has like a film inside of it. It's a little greasy, but I guess that's why it also feels nice to play with it. It's almost like moisturizing in a weird rubber band scent. Very strange, but it's at the Dollar Tree and it is a brand name and you could always probably, I would wash these. As soon as I get these, if I got them, I would wash them in warm soap and water and then they'll be fine. Then guys, I did pick up this really cute little cat toy with the little ballies inside that make noise. I know my cat is gonna go nuts over this. It has suction cup. You can attach it to a door or a window, um, like a glass door. I'm assuming it works best on glass. Maybe ceramic tile. Oh yeah, I could even, oh my God, I can hang it in the bathroom. She can play when no one's in the bathroom in the shower area. I know she's going to absolutely love that. If you hear that annoying noise, it's going to be her favorite. I know. I know my kitty's going to love it. I found the Hard Candy Bath and Body Cherry Blossom Vibes Red Plum and Fresia Whipped Body Butter. This whipped body butter is even more amazing than the strawberry one. I love the packaging. It's really gorgeous. Again, they're not sealed. They come two to a box like this. I like to pick them up when I see them in the boxes. I don't like them because they're not sealed. I don't like to buy them unless I find them sealed. First of all, the fragrance is amazing. I love, and it's good moisturizer. Like I'm, it is, it's delight. Oh, it is so wonderful. You guys, it just, it feels like silk and the smell is wonderful. So, so far they have given us the shower gel here in New York, the whipped body butter and the warming, um, the warming shower mud, like the foam, the foaming warming mud vibes that was like months and months ago. But then this came recently and the shower came and the shower gel is also warming, which is amazing. And I saw my buddy Pamela haul the salt body scrub by this vibes. Oh, I'm on the hunt for that too. Um, I know I'm gonna find it somewhere around here. So if you guys missed that haul, you should go and check out Pamela's hauls because she honestly finds everything before me. She really does find everything before me. That lady is always shopping. Um, and she's good at it, so thank goodness for her. She finds a lot of things for me, but I have to say that this is amazing. It feels wonderful, it's not greasy. I really like it, it's great all over the body. It doesn't irritate my skin, it smells so good. But even if I just find, which I found a few of these, and I have the shower gel, and I have the warming foam to mud, whatever that is, even if I don't find the fourth scrub, which I'm gonna find, but I'm on the hunt for. Today, I'm going out and hunting it. The Cherry Blossom Vibes Body Butter, the beautiful warming shower gel, and just the uh, foaming mud scrub or what, it's not a scrub, it's like a, a body wash that's mud to foam cleansing body shower gel or something like that. Um, it comes in the tube. 
we found that a long time ago. But just those three pieces make a fabulous gift. Because in the stores, this is like $8.99, $8.99, $8.99, $8.99. If I had spent three $8.99s, that's a good gift. But I spent three bucks on that. So I am delighted to find these and on the hunt for more and more and more. Yes, all day long, this is wonderful. Wonderful, you guys. I did find this by Wet n Wild. And I do have a tendency to love the matte wet and wild uh lipsticks so much so this is a lilac color it's called a365 lilac l-i-e space l-a-c-k so that's interesting let's get it open it's very like hermetically sealed practically it's really pretty actually it is a really lilac-y, just like the name, really gorgeous, perfect spring color. It would look really good on a dark skin tone. I really, really like that. So yeah, and the packaging is super MAC looking, like a dupe for MAC. Um, I think that I'm going to have to say this is last but not least because I have to go pick up my son. It's around two o'clock. So I have to go get my son from school. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope that you're finding all of your Dollar Tree wishes. Let me know down below what you're on the hunt for and what you have found. I always like to read what you guys are finding and what you're not finding because um, there are so many more things to find at the Dollar Tree that are full of value other than just makeup. I think that there's value in a lot. Like, I, I don't know if you guys caught my community tab post over the weekend, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this, but... Um, I made something called Fakes Giving because I'm considering volunteering. It has nothing to do with my um, nonprofit organization called Garage Sales Against Violence. There is a local church in my area that um, has like a list of people that are either homebound or don't have ovens or don't have the ability to cook themselves Thanksgiving meals. And um, the church takes place of like those home delivery services and makes people home cooked meals. Now I can't cook a turkey guaranteed that it's going to come out delicious because sometimes my turkey doesn't come out good, but I can always buy rotisserie chicken <laughs> and make it delicious. You can always like zhuzh it with a little butter and add a little seasoning to it and kick it up a notch with some gravy, but I'm great at putting sides together and I bought a bunch of sides from the Dollar Tree and I actually made like fake skiving. I made um, stuffing, but I added like celery and onions and mushrooms. And you can even add a little sausage to it and shredded carrot. So it came out really good and cranberries and I put gravy on it. And I made, um, in the picture, I didn't have the string beans, but I did make really good string beans with like Parmesan and like all kinds of yumminess and almonds, which I got at the Dollar Tree. And I made candied yams, which I did get at the Dollar Tree, but actually I recently found out I get better deal at Aldi's. You get like 30 ounces for, um, I believe it's a dollar 20 or something like that. Really cheap from, or a dollar 99 for like 40 ounces. And they're actually pretty good yams. I actually did not love the consistency of the Bruce's yams. I have to be honest. Last year, they were a lot denser. This year, there were really little pieces in there and they were really mushed up already. So I like it when they're more dense and they don't fall apart. Um, so I'm not trying to make like yam pie or, you know, like creamed yams. I want them to kind of hold their shape. Um, and I made them candied with like some of the granola from the Dollar Tree and I put brown sugar. No, I didn't add sugar. I put marshmallows and cinnamon all from the Dollar Tree and um, the granola to give them like a little texture. And the sides all came out pretty good, really quick and easy. So I'm thinking of if we don't end up going to my in-laws for Thanksgiving because who knows what's going to be going on even a few days from now. But if we, I'm going to last minute call up the church and find out if there's any um, last minute people left on the list and I'm going to take those and then I'm going to make the boys help me deliver Thanksgiving to everyone's home as long as the church is okay with it being rotisserie chicken because 
I just can't be trusted to make a good turkey. Not always. I'm not 100% fabulous at making turkey. That's like a whole endeavor and you just never know. And that's like a thing you can only do with your family. You can't bring outsiders into rough turkey dinner. That's not fair to anyone. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So if you are honestly, I have to be honest. I think that this year, Dollar Tree, and they even brought the jellied cranberry sauce. They always bring in everything, but they brought it in full effect this year. They're really pushing Thanksgiving, but there's a lot of stuff that is like in the sidelines that's also really good to use, like the cinnamon and the marshmallows, everything from the Dollar Tree. So it was a really kind of budget-friendly Thanksgiving dinner that we enjoyed over the weekend and I might be making tons of it on Thanksgiving Day. So we'll see who knows where I'm going to be. But in the meantime, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm so grateful that you guys are here. Um, please check your notifications and your subscriptions just to make sure that you are subscribed. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Please do. Welcome to our family. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.